Hey everybody, what's going on? Chronic Sonic here. Today we're bringing you guys another episode of War in the World of Zer, the weekly series where I show you guys War Zer is in the world of Destiny, what he has to offer us, and my opinion on whether or not it's a good buy or a bad buy. And I just want to say thanks to everybody for watching the series, and I've seen the views go up in episode 5, which is really cool. I had about 25 views, which is a lot for you guys to think, but that's a lot for me to think. Like, oh, that's a lot of views. A lot of people are watching the series, so I appreciate that. And I hope you guys continue watching the more videos I make. But let's get right into what he has to offer us. Um, he's actually in the tower this weekend, so if you guys remember last week, he was over here. He's in the same spot pretty much, except in a different location. But if you guys don't know where that is, just follow me and I will show you guys where he is. So, um, yeah, he's just over here. Awkward. Awkward pauses for the win. It's going to be a good video. Uh, okay, so he's over here. Hello, Zer. I hope you have something good for me today. There's a lot of people over here. I can't even see his face. Ah, oh my god. Okay, here we go. I'm going in, guys. Uh, diving in the shit that he has. Oh god, what does he have? Okay, so he has the Armentarium. This is a chess piece for the Titan. And it costs 13 strange coins. And it has special weapon ammo. It has heavy weapon ammo, and it has grenade booster, carry an additional grenade, so that's a pretty good perk to have. That's pretty much the only perk you really do want for this. The other bonuses are heavy ammo and special ammo, so that's pretty much what you're getting for the armamentarium. Um, it does max out at 140 discipline, and it maxes out at 30, 42 light, pardon me, 42 light. All you have to do is give it an exotic shard, and oh look at that, they're selling for 7 strange coins, so if you guys haven't gotten your strange coins or your what your exotic shards yet <laughs> make sure to spend your strange coins on them because limited time off for people um the young ahamkara spine this is for the hunter and it has special weapon loader which increases the reload speed of all special weapons and it has ashes to asset replenishes your super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade and then it has improved trip mine grenade so it trip mine grenades last longer when placed. So I'm assuming that these would be used for the crucible or even for prisoner of elders if you guys are into that. I wouldn't use these for like missions or raids or whatever because they don't seem like they would be that necessary. Um, the best one you would want to have for a raid is probably the uh, crest of alpha loopy. That is, that is an armor piece for your uh, hunter. So if you guys have those, use those for raids. If you have these, use these for uh, Prisoner of Elders and for Crucible. But the way these look are really badass. I like the way they look. It looks like it has like a fallen skull on it on the shoulders. And it's got like his spine on his forearm there. That's really cool. And then it has the three damage upgrades or defense upgrades, whatever you want to call it. And then the way to get it to 42 light is just give it an exotic shard when it's at the very end and you'll have a 42 light young Ahamkara spine, which is a really good buy. And the Starfire Protocol, which is a chess piece for the Warlock, this also costs 13 strange coins. And uh, let's get into this. He has the Fusion Rifle ammo perk. I don't know why I called the chess piece a he, whatever. Um, it has the fusion rifle ammo perk and it uh, increases the amount of fusion rifle ammo you can carry Then it has the heavy weapon ammo which increases the amount of heavy weapon ammo you can carry And then it has starfire protocol which you gain an additional fusion grenade So this is sort of like the armentarium for the titan and I know I'm butchering that name completely So I apologize for all you titans out there who are like he's saying the name wrong, but no the Starfire Protocol, you gain an additional grenade, so like I said, it's just like that Titan piece of armor right there. And then you have the three defense upgrades, and the way to get it to 42 light is again, use an exotic shard, and then there you go, 42 light. And all of these pieces of gear are worth the buy, and they're only 13 strange coins, so get them while they last, because they won't last long. They only last until s Sunday, I think. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday morning at 3 o'clock in the morning, so if you haven't yet, get your purchases in because this is a limited time offer people you're missing out um and then you have to be no I'm not gonna make a joke I was gonna say you have to be patient and have the time but I'm not that punny um patience and time is a sniper rifle that he's selling which has 365 attack power at the very end when you max it out 
Its rate of fire is pretty shitty. Impact is garbage. Its range and stability are pretty much the only things you really want. Its magazine is crap, and its reload speed is meh. Um, but luckily, it can be increased. Oh, no, it can't. Never mind. So you're losing your impact and your range to gain more stability, and you're losing your range to gain more stability. So garbage. You, why would you lose your range to get more stability when its stability is already good? And why would you lose your impact and range to gain a max stability? That's really shitty, Bungie. Why would you do that to us? I would stick with Field Choke, personally, because you're not losing anything in the process of doing any of that messing around with your perks. Third Eye, which is a really good perk to get, because it lets you see all your peripherals when you zoom in. So basically, if you're zooming in, you can't see behind you. Third Eye, there you go. You can actually see the whole entire map while you zoomed in. So that's a really good thing to get for a sniper rifle at least because I know a lot of people who snipe and they don't know I'm behind them and then I just shoot them in the back. Um, yep, this is basically a crucible weapon if you guys aren't aware because of how bad its impact is and its its range is phenomenal but its impact and rate of fire is pretty shitty so I'd use this in, this, in the crucible. Um, it has custom optics which gives you precision glass for lower zoom wider view so basically you can see wider when you uh, when you shoot through the gun fitted stock which increases weapon stability which again why would you why would you use any of these perks or um, scopes if you have a perk that gives you fitted stock and then it has field scout but I would use field scout personally because then you gain a bigger magazine so you can shoot more longer or shoot more bullets I guess and then patience and time you gain active camouflage while aiming down the sights so I'm assuming that means you go invisible when you aim down the sights I'm not too sure. I haven't really maxed out this weapon completely, so I'm not too sure about the patience and time perk, but I'm pretty sure that's what I would do. That's basically what I would think it would do any anyways. And then you have your four damage upgrades, and then the way to get it to 365 is again use an exotic shard. So if you guys are willing to buy any of these pieces of gear for any of your classes and the patience and time, I'd recommend getting two of these strange coins so just make sure you have enough strange coins for every purchase you're gonna make so yeah that's pretty much what Zer is oh wait I forgot he has an exotic engram I was gonna I was gonna end the video there because he usually only has helmet engrams but this time he has a body engram finally a different engram Bungie hasn't screwed us over anymore finally a different engram so if you guys are willing to purchase the engram instead of the pieces of gear that you see here, you might be lucky enough to get yourself a Starfire Protocol and the Armentarium. I don't know how to say that name, I apologize again. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much a gamble for anybody who doesn't play a Titan but plays a Warlock. You might get the Starfire Protocol, or you might get the Armentarium, you might get the Lucky Raspberry, you might get the Crest of Alphalupi. You might get the Purifier robes, which are the new ones for the for the Warlock, which I assume are the best. I don't assume, actually. I know they're the best, because I use them a lot, so I know they're good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much a gamble for you guys. Uh, choose amongst whatever you want to get, but if you guys don't have enough Strange Coins, but have a lot of Motes of Light, go ahead and buy this. It's well worth the purchase, even if you don't get the one you want. You will level up your Cryptarch in the process of decrypting these so it's worth it and then you have fusion rifle telemetries you have machine gun telemetries and you have rocket launcher telemetries nothing to level up your patience in time so no, I'm not gonna even do another patience in time joke but yeah pretty much level it up slowly <laughs> it's pretty much what I'm saying now um, you're gonna have to level it up normally I guess and plasma drive and then a stealth drive this is a new one I haven't ever seen this but I'm still not gonna buy it because it looks like a piece of shit still uh, high frequency suppression causes this drive to appear red under boost so it just gives you an illusion that you're shooting red flames out of your sparrows asshole I guess that's what it says there pretty much um, yeah so pretty much buy this if you want I guess it gives you a red under boost is what it's saying so buy it if you like the color red um, <laughs> Um, if you don't have the strange coins for it, then don't buy it, I guess. I'm not going to buy it, even though I have enough. Whatever. Um, heavy ammo synthesis. I've said this numerous amounts of times. Buy these if you're low on heavy ammo. I have over 9,000 perks. Uh, heavy ammo synthesis. God, I can't even get my own joke right. Whatever. <laughs> um, heavy ammo synthesis. Buy these if you're low on heavy ammo. I have over 500 of them, so I don't even need them. 
Um, yep, buy these if you're low on them. It helps you out with raids, prison of elders, every kind of thing you can imagine. Um, even if you don't have a Gallowhorn, just still buy these because they're really, really good. Um, then you have Motes of Light. They're a different type of currency in the game. Obviously, you used to buy these things. So if you guys don't have Motes of Light, but you have a lot of strange coins, don't want to buy anything this weekend, burn through your strange coins and pick up some Engrams. Might as well do that. Or if you have leftovers and you don't want any more Motes of uh, Strange Coins, uh, purchase them for Motes of Light, and you might have enough to buy yourself uh, exotic Engrams. So you'll either win in the process of doing whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, this is what Zer has. He's the agent of the nine. He's here from Friday to Sunday morning. So uh, make sure to get your purchases in, because like I said, this is a limited time offer, people. You better get down here to the Zer's market and buy your stuff, because he's gone on Sunday. <laughs> um, or if you don't have Destiny, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is Chronic Sonic, and thanks for watching, guys. This has been We're in the World of Zer, episode six. So make sure to hit that like button if you do like the video. Comment down below if you guys do like the series and want me to continue making it. And uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do appreciate you guys watching the videos and everything like that. I do appreciate it. It's awesome. Share this with your friends, your family, and your pets. And I will see you guys next week. Take it easy, guys. Bye.